Okay, so if you my other video that I want to show, welcome again to my channel, and um, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of a little 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 addition to a previous video I'd shown you how I am getting my garden watered, and again I have a have a solar panel on this this roof of this shed coming down to uh, a pressure pump here. Uh, with a charge controller and uh, a battery that runs the pump um, and but on the out, on the outside of it I, I run a pipe to my garden on the ground and if, if you notice it goes inside of the ground and we'll walk down to the garden and I'll show you show you that there's a little path here on the, the, the um the system runs on the ground to my garden and uh, the, the garden is a work in progress uh, coming along this is the first year we're doing it and here's where the here's where the the, the, the pipe comes out to the ground and I have it connected to a four-way um, I don't use all of them but I just thought maybe I should put as many as I could so that if I needed them later I could do it but I have I have I have um, some of my garden is on drip irrigation Others I just water with a hose. So I have a hose here attached that I just I just um, I just freehand water with with a hose and that's attached to one of these. But the drip irrigation is what I want to show you. It's attached here and um, I have it set up on a um, with a timer and of course a filter and you know, I water maybe once a day right now. Maybe when it gets hotter, I'll do twice a day. But um, it's it's set up with one of these um, one of these garden timers, and it comes out here with the pressure regulator. Well, the filter first. The hose comes in from the the tap, and it comes in here and comes to a filter, a pressure re re regulator. And it goes underground to my drip irrigation system. And I'll just show you a little bit of it. Um, here, here are the drip lines coming up out of the ground, running down in my garden bed. And with the with the you know, um, these are I think are six inches apart, and they the drip emitters um, watering my. I think these are beets. <laughs> or they could be Swiss chard. Uh, Somebody planted them and they weren't sure what they planted. So, and there are my cucumbers over there. And, but yeah, I have several beds set up. Give me a quick pan. And um, here's a bed I'm going to plant tomorrow. And you can see the drip lines here. And here are some tomatoes I have. These also have drip lines running down. These are tomatoes with, um, with, uh, garlic uh, as a companion um, crop with them but um uh yeah on on this on this so that's that's the drip irrigation and that that pump that we just saw earlier um keeps keeps um, the pressure on these lines and 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 waters my garden just show you a little bit more of the garden just one little section one little section i want to show you um is uh, these are some uh, great looking lettuce that I freehand water these from that same system and Swiss chard spinach over there and uh, and these are some I'm not sure what these are I think they're called dasheen they're a West Indian type plant that has a tuber and um, I think the leaves are edible, and also the the tuber in the ground are edible. Ed edible. Edible. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're we're we haven't tried these yet, but we're growing them, and we'll see we'll see what they come out to be, and I'll probably show that on my video. I just want to show you one other thing: some um, some peas I have planted in the ground over here, which it looks really nice, and I just I'll just show you that before I end this video. Um, looks great. 
is a, a bed I have with some peas. And they look great. We, we and these are uh, freehand watered, so it's coming along. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll again have a list up of uh, on my channel about um, with the items that I use to create the system, and I'll be happy to share that with you. And you can ask me any questions you have. And I'll be glad to show you, share it with you. Thank you. Please subscribe and share. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.